What is going on, you guys? Trisky back with another video for you guys. All right, man. Look, we got another build video coming out for y'all boys today, bro. We're doing power fours today. I know it's harder to do power fours, but we got power fours covered, man. So let's get it, man. If you haven't already, make sure that you hit that sub button, man. You really helping me out by hitting that. We only 400 away, bro. Also hit that mug notification bell and also hit the like, man. We gotta, we gotta stay up to date with all this stuff, bro. Like y'all, y'all gotta, y'all gotta keep on motivating me. You gotta keep me going, posting videos and whatnot. But anyway, let's get into the video, man. I really love y'all. Appreciate y'all watching my videos. And we gonna get into this, man. Y'all gonna be surprised and y'all gonna love these bills. But let's get into it, boy. Alrighty, for the first build of the day, number five, we're going down and we're going to select the defense and playmaking pie chart. Alright, so what we're doing now is we're going to make this Draymond Green build. Uh, the reason why you have to be this pie chart to make Draymond Green and not the uh, two-way stretch because... Uh, my friend KG, he wants to make the two-way stretch as Draymond, but you cannot get Dimer. You can't get Dimer with a without playmaking in a bit. Like the only build that can get Dimer without playmaking in it is only position is point guards. Point guards are the only position in the game that can do that. With this, with um, power forwards, you have to pick this position. Uh, this build per se and uh you definitely want to max out the ball handling because draymond has pretty decent handles for power four he also has a really nice size up in 2k for some odd reason his size up is it's pretty clean but how you want to make this build is how i'm making it now for standing duck the reason why i'm not going to have standing duck on this player at all really is because Draymond's standard dunk, I believe, is in the 50s or, or like a 40-something. I know his driving dunk is like a 78. So you can mess with it a little bit and get it to where when I decrease the height and increase the wingspan, that it'll give you, um, you know, you could get pretty decent ratings, pretty similar to Draymond. But for the most part, it is almost no reason to do it so you can get that fifth shooting badge and you have a 63 three-pointer so like you can still get a couple of shooting badges and you could be like Draymond you got the 10 playmaking and the 21 defensive badges so this bill is mainly for someone that runs the floor as the power forward and it would throw a lot of people off because people are not used to having a power four run the offense and especially a six seven you're going to be six seven you're going to be able to get the good layup packages and you'll be able to get contact dunks which is crazy you'll be able to get contact dunks driving contact dunks on this power four build it misses out on the big man contact dunks once again i was telling you guys about lowering the uh, uh the standard dunk and even if you had the max standard dunk when you lowered the weight or lowered the height it only would have been like a 64 so at the end of the day you're still not going to be able to get those big man contact dunks regardless of what goes on with that okay so anyway we're looking at the weight and you can kind of mess around with the weight however you please but what i decided to do was i went for the um the 80 something uh strength I, I didn't want to decrease my vertical and everything too much uh but at the end of the day dude this build is definitely something that's pretty much slept on not a lot of people make and uh because it's undersized and on top of it being undersized a lot of people at the power four position do not run the offense or have the ball in their hand enough to run the offense people expect power fours to be stretches or um, they need to be able to knock down shots when they get them. Like power fours are really becoming a a weird that a weird position in the NBA. Not a lot of people are traditional power fours. But into the next build. Okay, so 
with this build, we're going athletic pie chart, and you might as well go for the most speed for this build because this is not going to be a strong build. So you want the 81 layup, and you want to max out everything else. This build is, uh, in a way, a post score. It's pretty much a post score, but um, a post score without the three pointer. So you'll be you'll have an 85 hook, which is really good. An 85 hook is is really good on this game. I mean, 85 fade is is really decent. 94 hook is really good on this game. That's what I wanted to say. And uh, you want the defense to look like this. You want to be able to. You could do pretty much everything defensively or do enough defensively. But um, I would just do it to like get the eight. Uh, defensive badges because the eight defensive badges are good enough you can get like a uh, freaking rebound chaser gold and say like uh, intimidator gold or something like that and then get like a uh, rim protector on bronze and something else I don't know you can do whatever you please with the defensive badges I'm just here to show you the builds really and um, yeah this build here is really nice oh I, f I forgot to mention box and worm so I would get those badges. I would probably get a lot of them silver or something. But um, this build is nice. At the end of the day, you still get the eight defensive badges. Uh, I was telling you guys that uh, your steal rating doesn't really matter. I swear I see people get steals regardless. But for this build, we're going to go 6'9 because 6'9 gets you that 91 driving duck, 85 standard. So you'll be able to destroy people in the paint. We're going lowest weight so that we can get that acceleration. Um, well, you can go lowest weight to get that acceleration, but the reason why I went the higher weight is because with the interior defense, uh, that'll be in the 80s, and your block will be in the 80s with the highest weight, plus you'll have a decent amount of strength. And of course, we went with the slash and takeover. Guys, you know what we're going with here. And uh, yep, this build is really nice to use uh, in the park and stuff. It's definitely a park build. I would not say, I would not rank. Like you could bring it in the wreck, but it's not made for the wreck. I would bring the Draymond build in the wreck over this one, but this is this build is nice. Next build. All right, all right, all right. So this very next build is a stretch. It's a pure stretch build. Okay. So how you want to level up a pure stretch build? I know a lot of you guys probably wouldn't want to do it this way, but I'm telling you, you have to do it this way. This is the only way you could do this. So I, I would not lower the post fade because the post fade is there. Um, I wouldn't do that because you can get that to a 99 at a 99. And I would lower the the free throw out of everything. You get the same amount of points. Just lower that a little bit and you'll have an 86 free throw. Therefore, you will have a 90 at a 99. But the free throw really doesn't matter because you hit free throws pretty good on this game as is. All right. So... What you want to do at this point is you want to go down to defense. You want to make sure you get as many defensive badges as possible. This will make your build really nice. Uh, I know a lot of people max out everything defensively, and that's how you eventually. That's how you make two-way stretch fours or two-way stretch fives. But what I did was I decreased the perimeter defense enough so that I could put something and drive and lay because that's the only thing that really matters in this situation because you're not going to really get a lot of dunks as a stretch but your layup is there and I don't see a stretch really take close shots so you want to get those 12 finishing badges and um, or you could get however many finishing badges you want but you could put that on close shot but I really wouldn't recommend it because like how many how many how much do you see stretches really go for close shots they either do that one little weird drive and layup that's like super quick or they're shooting like mid ranges and threes. So you don't really need that. But uh, at the end of the day, you can do whatever you please with these builds. I'm just putting them out for y'all to look at. Um, I would recommend setting up the way that I set it up. I would go 610 because if you go higher than 610, your release is a little slower this year. They said 611 and above has slower releases. So I would go 610. Uh, so that you can get the same release speed as uh, guards. With your wingspan, I would not max it out. I mean, like, you can if you want to to be better on defense, but I would put it to where I get that 93 ball. I wouldn't go 82 because that's a little too low. 
so I would definitely go 84 because I wouldn't want my wingspan all the way down especially as a big man uh, unless you're just you know, unless you don't care about anything defensively and you're just all offense at that point I really wouldn't lower it because um, you're not gonna it's not gonna let you get blocks except for like probably on guards so if you got uh, another big man on you you're definitely not gonna be able to defend that at all so I, I also want to show you guys that you can go back and, and put a little bit or put it in post hook I wouldn't recommend it though just for the fact that for the most part since you're a stretch you're gonna be fading more uh, that 95 fade is just is phenomenal in that situation you can get like an 84 I believe 84 post hook uh, if you put some points in that category but I would definitely keep the 12 playmaking because you could do a lot more with the playmaking badges than you can with the uh, with not getting any finishing badges. Even it doesn't matter what you do on finish out. I think you only get five when you max it out, and that that's not really good. I wouldn't put all of my efforts into that because I can get 12 playmaking with the same amount of points. But uh, yep, that's it. We're going into the next build. All right, y'all. Next build, bruh. This build is number two on my list. Number two is the sharpshooting and defending build at the freaking power forward position. Uh, I know a lot of people like this build at center. And, uh, you know, we, we got a center build coming out tomorrow. Center build video coming out tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. But with this build, what you want to do is you want to max out pretty much everything defensively. I'll show you guys different little methods that you can do at the end of like towards the end of this build video but for right now what I want to do is I just leveled it up all the way just to see what I can get but for the most part you don't want to do it that way okay so watch how I do the shooting badges I will not touch anything in playmaking just for the fact that this build is really defense and catch and shoot probably and potentially rebounds you can lower the the rebound and stuff more uh like under 80 and you'll get the it'll say you're a paint defender instead but i would recommend having a rebound because when you don't have rebounds sometimes the game makes you not grab rebounds and that's fucking it, it just i don't know why it does that it just does that um all right so look at how i'm doing this i wanted to do it like that and then i thought about it like wait i don't need um, I don't need this many shooting badges, especially if I'm just going to be catching and shooting because a lot of badges, people have too many badges sometimes in certain categories based on the position. But as you see, they, even if you lower, you're still all the way. It's, you get 18. So I would just make it so you get 18, lower the lateral quickness a little bit so that you get 18 and you see how we got this going right now. So... Uh, you could put the remaining badges over there if you want, but I will put them on finishing so that you can get nine finishing badges. So that's three gold. And how this build is set up is pretty nice. Uh, you're not, your pass accuracy does not matter on this. I swear to God, it doesn't. Like, only thing it does is make you pass slower. And that, I mean, you're not going to be passing with this build, to be honest. But. I would definitely go 610. This is another one of those builds I would go 610 with. Get you a 69 driving dunk. You have a 79 standing. So you will have the big man contact dunks. You can shoot. Um, you can play defense. Only thing you can't do is dribble, but why why would you try to dribble with a power forward as is? Like, and at the end of the day, you ball handling, I swear it doesn't matter for a power forward because they still have the same speed with ball regardless because it's under a certain threshold. I don't know what number it is to make it so it increases your speed with ball, but uh, when you got low ball handling anyway, it's like it does not touch your speed with ball at all. I don't know why. It just stays at like a 64. I've seen that on like multiple builds that I made. And um, you want, do it till you get the, I will have that 76. Uh, you can go max wingspan, which is what I would probably do because you get that 90 block and you have a pretty good interior defense to match that and I would probably go glass clean and take over because the glass clean takeover probably work better at the four 
uh, then the rim protector. I mean, like you can go rim protecting, that'd be cool too. But I would definitely go glass cleaner, and this is the build here. It's a glass cleaner lock at the four position, but we're gonna get into the number one build right now. Oh, number one. All right, number one, man. Y'all go, man. What? I told y'all, bro. This pie chart is the best pie chart in the game, hands down. Like. This pie chart is literally the best. Uh, with the finishing and, and uh, shooting. Oh my god. Like this is this is probably the best one unless you really like playing defense. This is probably the best one. Other than this one, I would probably say the two-way sharp one is is one of the best ones as well. But um, you see how I'm doing this. You see how I'm maxing out certain things that I feel like you would need you really don't need that many shooting badges but fuck it at this point like you might as well like you make this type of build you really but like for the defense one it was different because it, you kind of would limit yourself a lot more but this one can score in multiple ways so I would get as much as I can uh, the 15 playmaking badges is really cool I would not do anything with the ball handle I was just showing y'all I would definitely go with 12 because it'll get you four uh, gold badges if need be. Uh, you can mess around with it and do it however you want. But this build, man, this build is really nice. You get the stand, you get the standard contact dunks and stuff. Um, so when you get, you have a good, good stats. But what I would do in this situation, you see, I got the interior defense. I would max out the defensive rebound in the block. Because I told y'all that still, I swear, still, like, still matters, but it doesn't, if that makes sense. Like, I rip people consistently with a 50 still. So, I mean, like, still matters, but it doesn't matter at the same time. I would put that little bit in interior defense. I would definitely make sure I have the high, higher rebound in the, the higher block because... Block is like your shot contest on here. If you got a good block, it gives you good block animations where you go for the ball. And when you go for the ball more, it forces people to miss more. Because if you got a low block, it's like you go for the... Like, when you try to go for a block, it's like your person don't go for the ball at all. It's like they just try to purposely, like, foul them or something. I don't know. It's like they, they just purposely get trash animations. But look at this. I lowered that by four so that I can max out my fade and my hook so that at the end, at a 99, you'll have a 94 hook shot and an 80, I mean a 91 um, post hook. And with the in, with the increase in the height, you get an 86 standard dunk. So therefore, you will have a 90 standard dunk at a 99. Uh, your post moves are really good. This build is a post score. This is one of the best builds in the game. And like... You can score like crazy on this build. I would lower the wingspan enough to get, um, I think this is the one where I lowered it enough to get the 76 mid range so that you can get that into the 80s. And then the 72 3 is cool because that 72 3 will get to a 76. And then you got a good block. Um, you have a decent block that also can get to an 80 at a 99 and you'll have an 80 defensive rebound so this build is is killer man this build is really nice it's definitely something you should look into if you're will if you want to make a power forward this is the build for you man this build here is really nice um I, if you don't care about the playmaking badges i would put more in defense but for the most part i would just get chase down artists or intimidator on this build but this build is mainly for like and it's it works good in the threes but like it also it's one of those builds that like if you got a good center like if you got a center that's playing defense in the paint like kg he kind of moves around everywhere on defense in the paint so he doesn't he tries to help pretty much all the time in the paint so if you got a center like that that's always helping out and trying to get blocks and stuff you don't really have to have defense and it makes it so much easier and um, that block also helps you defend way better. But comment, rate, su subscribe, y'all. We got the center build video coming out tomorrow. Then we got some other stuff coming out. All right. Love y'all. Peace out.